Hey guys, and welcome back to Witcher 3. My name is Jagaris, and today I'm Slower. wrapping up some side quests, picking up some ones I've ridden past and missed, including this old woman that I saw at the races in the last episode. What's the matter? A monster bothering you? Nay, a ghost. Is that not a kind of monster? Sorry, I can't help. It's not a monster, I can't do anything. Like, no, we'll, we'll help. We'll help. Can you tell me anything more? You see, Jackamar haunts my dreams. Jackamar's my husband, or was till he died at war. He stands by me headboard and wails. So many years apart, I've such woe in the beyond. Come join me. I say. I'll come, Jackamar, but when the gods summon me, not before. Then he says, leave your wedding ring by me grave. It'll make the white and lighter. And I'd leave it, were the woods not so terrifying. So, I thought to myself, maybe you. I'm pretty sure this sounds like some dude is pretending to be her husband's ghost to steal her wedding ring. Sure it's your husband's ghost? You saying I can't tell me own man? I'm old, but I ain't gone daft yet. Not what I meant. There's wraiths that deceive, assume the form of dead loved ones. Troes, for instance, or dunnies. Nay, I'm sure this is Jackamar. In my dreams, he spoke of our nuptials, how we danced at Bellatane, how the Redanians killed him at Rind. Rind? You've either mixed something up or you're very old indeed. Battle happened 80 years ago. Oh, I. Slip of the tongue. Meant to say the Battle of Rivia. Oh, she's so suspicious. Also, can I point out her face is super wrinkly and like the rest of her skin is just like normal. Glad it's, to help. it's weird. Where's Jackamar buried? A little cemetery near Blackbow, in a grave neath the old tree. Here, take me ring. Once you've laid it down, come to me for your reward. I live in a hut in the middle of the village with my granddaughter, Lessie. This older woman, who is somewhat wrinkly, Strange. is quite suspicious. There's definitely something going on here that's like out of the ordinary. Okay, I guess we'll just leg it through the woods. So let's figure out what's going on. I'm not gonna just lay the ring. I feel like if you just lay the ring, you're giving her what she wants. Hey, is it princess? Are we by princesses? We're by princesses, please. What up, princess? Princess is a goat. She's the best character, and I'm really sad that she's not a Gwent card. Like, why isn't there princess? Jackamar's grave. Do I have a choice? I don't really want to place the ring. All right, that's done. We're totally feeding into what she wants, though. Like, this is definitely what she wants us to do, which means that we shouldn't do it. All right, what up, Lessie? I've come to talk to your crazy grandmother. Lessie, right? Wanted to talk to your grandma. To my... But she's been dead for years. Guess I talked to a ghost. Why wasn't she buried alongside her husband? I can't say for certain. I was a little lass then. But me mum told me that shortly before Grand died, she learned Grandad had kept lovers on the side. She had no desire to lie beside him. Seems she changed her mind. She wanted something to connect her and her husband in the afterlife. Asked me for help. That's hard to believe. But you've an honest look about you. If you helped Grand, you deserve a reward. Here, taint much. But I'm afraid it'll have to do. White one. You would have thought that, like, I got one XP point. You would have thought that he'd be able to identify ghosts, surely. Like, I feel like Geralt should have been able to. That was, that was such a dull quest. I thought it was going to be so much better than that. See, this is the problem with side quests, because mostly they're really good. But sometimes they're just a bit shit. Apparently, I need to talk to the supervisor. Don't like folk wandering around here. Oh yeah? Well, got a beast you need someone to get rid of? I'm here about the notice. Uh, Supervisor Lund posted it. Yeah, a beast haunts the outskirts, murdering folk. Got them scared to leave their homes after dusk. Right, can I talk to the supervisor? I'd like to talk to this supervisor. 
Too bad he don't receive petitioners. He put so the sign up. Do exactly. Delivers relief on behalf of the city council, flour and groats for the paupers. Meaning he don't do it personally. He's got men for that. He himself, he uh... supervises. Exactly. <laughs> Okay, well, I picked this side quest because I thought maybe it would be more interesting Trying than the last one. to hunt down this monster. Best hurry, then. Some other bloke's already after it. Okay, so who else is after it? Who took the contract? Didn't see the man. Was just told some brave fool turned up. And has anyone seen the monster? Any eyewitnesses to these attacks? No, just the bodies. Beast appears only at night chooses isolated victims and where did the last attack when do you find the last victim just last night Hubert a beggar but a decent man I'd let him sleep in his shed from time to time that one on the right Eustace hasn't come for the corpse yet it's lying in there where I found it all right so how do they know it's a beast thanks so long like how does he know that it's a beast and not just like a regular murderer? I guess we'll go investigate. How do I get into this building? Um, haha. -ha. Can I? This is a door. Okay, apparently the, the door does not function like a door. So instead, we'll go this way. Ooh, there are beastly footprints. But you know what else there is? Well, it looks a bit like a bath. And we both know how, uh,. How Geralt feels about baths. He loves himself a bath. Blood's all sucked out. A lesser vampire? Okay, it's probably a beast. I'm, I'm feeling like it's probably a beast. Blood, but not human. Monster was wounded. So I guess it got mo mo wounded by whoever was, uh, I guess I should examine these. It got wounded by whoever was trying to kill it. Like this other guy. Not the marks of a garcane or a flutter. Yeah, those are worse. Ekimara. Ekimara! I like Ekimaras. They're... Yeah, like, they give you resilience. What more could you want? Six extra points in the next turn? That's, that's, that's everything. Right, let's follow his Ekimara footsteps. Ooh. I'll grab this while I'm at it. I just gotta pick up herbs as and when. I haven't been really actively trying to find any of them. Um. How do I, how do I follow this? Um. I really want to jump in. Yeah, this is not helpful. Unless we dive, but I don't think he... There's no signs. I guess we could swim over there, right? Just head in a straight line. Should probably surface, and then maybe we'll find it over here. There's something red over there. Sometimes you gotta use your noggin, guys. You just gotta think a little bit. Right, out we get. Can loot some of these while we're at it. I don't know what any of this stuff is useful. I guess crafting in that. Uh huh. Uh huh. Just we'll just light that while we're at it. I mean, it looks so fancy. Like if if you could. Uh oh. Uh oh. I was gonna say if you could summon uh, fire with your hands. You would. Is that? I should probably get my sword out. Can I can I get my sword out, please? And. Uh, I want to use a Thunderbolt potion. I guess I could use, like, I've got some, some oils and stuff for vampires. Should probably use those. Like, I did a potion build and then I feel like I never use my potions. Cursed. Are they cursed? They're probably cursed. It's not a specter. It's not an elementa. It's not an insectoid. It's probably cursed. And then what else have we got? I think I have an anti-vampire one. Mm. No, that's not it. Wah! Witch's blood injures vampires and necrophages. Yeah, see, this is one. So we can, we can do that. And then drink this potion. Oh wait, that's cat potion. I didn't want to drink cat potion. I wanted black blood. There we go. So then if he hits me, he gets damaged. It's gonna be like Vesemir or Eskel or Lambert. I can't really tell from here. Is an Ekamara cursed? An Ekamara is probably cursed. The thing is, he doesn't hit very hard, so I'm kind of not trying. 
Uh, can we change our sign? Let's go Igni. And then kill him. Can I point out that the other guy did fuck all? Like, I'm busy here killing this dude, and the other guy's just watching. Rude as heck. Hey, I don't look so good. Greetings, Lambert. Hey, it was Lambert. Damn, I knew it was one of them. Good to see you, Wolf. Decide to do some hunting in Novigrad? For as I remember, you never liked this city. Still don't. Thing is, I got a certain matter to take care of. His outfit is way cooler than mine. Like, for fuck's sake, I want to look that cool in this cool, like, leather jumpsuit. What have you been up to? Any luck on the path? A lot, in fact. Quite the takings in Lan Exeter. I was asked to hunt down a giant who turned out to be a forest troll and some bandits. Bandits? Came as a package with the troll. The matter you mentioned. Anything I can help with? Yes. Give me, let me help. But we'll talk about that later. I want to talk about it now. Got a reward to collect. I'm kind of in a hurry. Let's say you've earned half. What the hell? <laughs> half. Half. Fuck you. Let's go. Does that mean I don't get to loot it? Am I gonna just appear like at the other place? Oh, for God's sake! Yeah, I guess it's fine. So, what do you think? We did what we had to do. Time to pay up. Wait here. I'll go see the supervisor. Get your reward. Do that. I kind of like that guard. No reason you should abandon your post. Hmm. Hmm. Can't argue with reason. Go on in. <laughs> He's the best character in this game so far. I forgot to get my like Ekamara loot. I guess it's fine. We dealt with the monster at the docks. Here for our reward. Witches? Since when do you travel in pairs? A lot of dangers lie in wait for a lone witcher. Bandits, for example. I advise you to change your tone. Where's Yad Karadin? Talk. Lamba is not remotely attractive. Like, even with my creepy vein face, I'm still a better looking dude than him. Who? Trust me, Geralt, this is important. There's something I gotta know. I do not know any Karadin. Take your coin for the before and bugger off. Before I lose my temper. Where's Yad Karadin? Asking you for the last time. Guards! To the dungeon with them! Oh dear. At least I don't have to kill the doorman, right? I'm hoping I don't have to kill the doorman. Which button is block? I always- okay, left trigger is block. I don't actually have to block. Boom, wrecked. Why the fuck did- ah? Uh, where did- what's his name run off to? Lambert. Lambert, you cheeky git. You better not have killed the doorman. He was my friend. This guy's more trouble than the Yakimara. The Karadin's disappeared. I swear. The others too. Uh, I only know of Vien. What about Vien? She drinks at the Seven Cats. They're day and night. See? You can be helpful. Don't kill him. Was that really necessary? Hmm. Hmm. What the hell? What the hell is Crazy? right? What the hell are you doing? I can explain everything. We'll do it then. More guardsmen will show soon. Let's go. Meet me at the Seven Cats. Tell you everything there. The Tavern VN frequents? Yeah, see you later. Can I loot him? The guy he just killed? Whose body seems to have disappeared? This is the thing though, like I feel like you get really interesting side quests like this. Oh, did I actually kill Dorman? I think I did. But you get really interesting side quests like this, and then on top of that you get ones like the one I did right at the start of this episode, which are just they don't really feel very interesting or impactful. You know, I got 20 crowns and 1 XP. And I understand they're not they're, they're not going to give me a lot of XP because I already... Like, I'm already kind of overleveled for a lot of them. And this is just for completionist's sake. But on the flip side, I don't know. I, I feel like that's the kind of quest that I feel like I could afford to not do, basically. So, for me, it's it's kind of like... It's hard to try and find the good ones. Because you don't really know if a quest is going to be good until you do it. Like, I didn't know this was going to be a good quest until I started it. But now that I'm kind of halfway through it, we're good. 
Hey, look, it's a cat. What up, cat? Why are cats scared of me? What if I drink a cat potion? Maybe they'll like me. All right, high time you explain some things. Why do you kill Lund? What's this all about? Want the short version or the long one? Let's just, just tell me everything. Let me hear the whole thing. I don't go anywhere to be. I had a friend. Aiden was his name. You had a friend? Oh, it fucking hilarious. I met him soon after I'd accepted a contract to lift the curse from the Ogre of the Lander. Aiden had been hired to kill it. He was a witcher from the school of the cat. Was it like a friend? Like, ooh la la. Or was it just a friend, like a regular friend? What, what kind of friend was he? As far as I remember, the ogre was killed in the end. Yeah. After it gutted my employer, we really didn't have a choice. I cut a deal with Aiden. We joined forces, split the reward for killing the ogre between us. After that, we worked together a lot. Hands down the best man I'd ever met. I mean, I like you, you know that. Still, no comparison. Why? Well, like, I like how there's an option to rush the story. It's like what if you get bored, to... just rush the story. Some time ago, Aiden took on a contract to lift a curse off a duke's daughter. It was a political mess from the start. Then there was hatred for the school of the cat to deal with. They worked hard to deserve that hate. Basically turned hired assassins. Aiden wasn't like that. Anyway, some of the Duke's courtiers had designs. Weren't at all keen on the curse being lifted from the Duke's firstborn. So a band of trained assassins ambushed Aiden. Murdered him. Our dear supervisor was one of them. And Yad Karadin? The assassin's leader. And the one to deal the mortal blow. So this is like revenge then. Sorry about your friend. Don't need your sympathy. Just your help. We have to talk to Vienne. Must have had enough to drink by now. Let's go. This kind of story feels very similar to the first story in The Last Wish, which I will talk what about during Witcher Book Club, which we is still going to happen. <laughs> now, why would I help? Because we're asking you nicely. It's really important to my friend here. And what will I get out of it? Pay for your beer, for starters. Then we'll see how valuable your information is. Free beer. That's a good deal. You should take it. I was part of Caradin's band. But when was that? I don't know where to find him. I've fallen out with a lot. Axi time. Besides, he's no longer chummy with his old mates. Word around town is it's changed. Can I axi you a question? Oh, I can't. But yeah, so this, this story is a bit similar to the first story in The Last Wish, which I will talk about more in depth when I start Witcher Book Club, which is still going to happen. In the there was a curse that needed lifting and witchers got involved and then there were people who didn't want the curse lifted. So there's similarities, which is kind of interesting, I guess. Anyway, what do you mean? Keridin's changed. What do you mean? He's dropped all his old connections. Stopped taking on petty killings. He's hidden himself away in some hole. Must be planning something big. And who were Who else was in Keridin's band? Aside from me, Sleaze, Hammond, and Lund, but they've scattered all over the world. Selyse went to Tresigor, Hammond to Skellige, and Lund... Lund's dead. <laughs> Finally met his match! <laughs> well, you've only Hammond or Selyse to talk to then. Okay, well we can't go to Skellige yet, because I'm not doing that, so what do you know about Selyse? This Selyse. Where can we find her? She's done well for herself. Runs a brothel in Tresigor, the kind rich men frequent. Or suck information out of them. And she sells it. <laughs> yes, yeah, suck Name information out of them. The <laughs> Black <laughs> Lily. Selyse so always did have horrible taste. And what about Hammond? Just out of we curiosity. information about Hammond. Caradin's right-hand man once. 
When the band broke up, he went back to Pharaoh. Went he had come. He's a pirate now. Even the Arles treat him with respect. And why did you join? What about you? What's your story? Scoyatel. Unit was decimated, so I joined Caradin. They never treated me as an equal. No. I could hit a sparrow from a hundred paces. But I was never good enough for Caradin. He always preferred that cunt's Oh, she's totally you have a jealous. Hand in the murder of the Witcher Aiden? Perhaps. I don't remember. I don't think you should tell him if you do, because he will kill you. Satisfied? She doesn't know anything. We need to talk to Hammond and Celise. Don't go looking for Karazin. If he senses you nipping at his heels, he'll kill you without batting an eye. We'll see. As for you... I don't think he should kill her. She's just drunk. No, Lambert. Right. Better to leave her like this. What about my coin? Ha! <laughs> no coin oh, for souls. you. I like how she's upset about coin. It's like, I literally just saved your life. You like, gotta help me, Geralt. Best thing will be to split up. You sail to Skellige. Try to squeeze something out of Hammond. I'll go to Tredegor and meet with Selyse. Why does everyone keep trying to send me to Skellige? Lambert, let's talk about this. No, let's not. This is one of those situations, serious situations, when you don't ask unnecessary questions and just help your friend. Where will we meet once I'm back? At the Nowhere Inn. All right, I'm off. Good luck. I like this. Like, the quest feels half done. Hey look, find a boat headed for Skellige. It's almost as if that's always my mission. Why is this... what is... what is... what is here? There's like a quest marker. I guess fast traveling. Anyway, uh, let's find another quest to do. What shall we do? We can't do this one at the moment. Multiple locations. Fist of Fury and Override is just more punch fighting, but we can't do that at the moment. Mm. I've got to investigate a sound that I heard. I can go and try and kill Radovid. I think for now we'll do this one and then we can go and meet Dijkstra in the next episode. That feels like a good way to do this. And then I'll probably do the racing one off camera because racing, I feel like it's not that fun to watch. But if you guys want to see racing, do let me know. I guess it's something that we could do. Where do we need to go? So I was going to go do that quest, but then I rode past this side quest again. So Interesting basilisk you've got there. Of course it's interesting. Won't see a beast like this anywhere near here. They spawn only in the wild wastes of Zeracania, from eggs laid by cockerels. Huh, from cockerel eggs. Cockerel That's good to eggs, know. You say. I didn't know cockerels yeah, could lay eggs. cocks they are. Lift their rumps like brood ends to other cocks. Eggs laid by such a cockerel must be brought to hatching by 101 venomous vipers. Then the young basilisk pecks its way out. Oh man, this guy's so smart, you guys. I mean, well, maybe we point this out it's a wyvern. This basilisk is interesting because it looks exactly like a wyvern. Young one, and he'll fed it that. You talk nonsense, sir. This is the most truest of basilisks. Right, what do I know? I'm just a witcher. All done now. If that's no basilisk, but some wyvern, what did I pay for? Give me back my con cheat. Brave soldiers, don't push, or it'll roll the chart. Oh no. A wyvern. We best give up now. Why am I using my fists? Oh shit, I've got no health. We should let's chug that. And then chug that. Set him on fire. Missed. I feel kind of guilty. Like, he wasn't even that strong of a basilisk slash wyvern. He kind of just got a bit wrecked. Guess the cage was as fake as the basilisk. Why would you have a fake cage? Oh, Jesus Christ. Right, side quest done. Let's go uh, look around the area. So I got sidetracked by a beastie, but it's a level 32 actual basilisk. So maybe this is not wise. I mean, 
maybe we can take him out. Ow. Ow, I'm bleeding. Uh, wait, I need to use Quen. I need to use Quen. How do I use Quen? Quen, 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 Quen. Quen in doubt, Quen. Oh, he's, he's taken off again. Well, I guess I finished bleeding. So we wait for him to come and attack me. Come on. I'm down here. Come on. Come on. Come on. Let me dodge. I guess I should quen myself now. Then at least if he hits me, it's not too bad. Missed. Show me what you got. Ow. Ow. Can I grape shot him? Maybe I should grape shot him. How do I... Does... Hmm. How do I quen? Like this. Oh, wait. Like this. There we go. Whew. I think we should probably Thunderbolt. And then we have two Swallows. I've only done like 10% damage though. How do I... Oh, like that. Oh, but I need to Quen. So that I stop bleeding. See, I learned a thing. I've done like no damage to this bad boy though. And he's still flying around. Come on, just, just land. Ow, 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 ow. Did he just try and poison me? Rude as heck. I don't know why I'm fighting this thing. It seems like a good idea. Quen. Because, like, he keeps making me bleed, but he's not really doing that much damage. So maybe I can kill him. Maybe. Maybe. I've done like a third of his health. I need to use an oil and Quen. Quen, there we go. Do I have, what even is a, this is a basilisk, right? What is a basilisk? Maybe we have the oil for this. Bestiary. Um, not a cursed one. It'll be draconid. Yeah, of course it's a draconid. Wait, no, it's not. Oh, but this is a is this a cockatrice? No, it's a basilisk. Hybrid. In it's not insectoid. It's not gonna be a necrophage. Relics. It's not a relic. Oh well. I I feel like it's probably a draconid. So then we have to see what we have, alchemy wise. Let's just make some new potions while we're at it. No one will notice. <laughs> this is not allowed during combat. Yeah, so we, we don't have Draconid Oil because I need four ergot seeds. So I don't think I have an appropriate oil. I don't think he's cursed. It's not a spectre. Nah. Okay. We'll just wing it then. Unless he's a beast. I'm gonna get like half done and then he's gonna get me. I know how this works. I think he just wore off with Quen. Like I put, I applied Quen and then it just came straight off. We need to drink this and we need to Quen again. Hmm. Like, you know, we've done an okay job. He's on about half health, but we've run out of potions. So that's kind of a problem. Are you gonna come down here? Come on, you can do it. Stop flapping around. There we go. Oh no. Let's throw a bomb at him. Did that help? He's kind of stunned now. That'll do. Oh, that was actually a really good bomb. Okay, I have to wait and then I'll grape shot him again. It would help if I could actually hit. Okay, I need to Quen. Uh, Quen, 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 Quen. Stop the bleeding. This is going alright. I think I've run out of potions though. And I've run out of bombs. So that's kind of a little bit of a pickle. 
kind of cool though, taking on a challenging opponent like this and being a little bit sneaky about it. Nope. Okay, get out of the way. Ow. Quen. I should get some meat. One sec, let's get some food. Because I've actually got food, right? So I can put this on my bar. What if these is gonna feel 50%, 50 seconds vitality regeneration. Vitality during combat. So this is actually really good, but I don't think I want to eat something that's like really good. 50, 50. They're all 50 though. 80. Let's eat this fish. Eat some dried fish. Got him. Ow. Right, Quen again. We can Quen. The only problem with Quenning now is obviously if he leaves me. I'm gonna be kind of fucked. Oh, I'm stunned. Uh oh, he's shrieked. He shrieked. He shrieked. He shrieked. Right, let's eat more fish and cast Quen. Whew. This is quite the battle. I'm committed though. Like, we're gonna win this one. I don't know what I'm going to get out of it, but still. I just happened to be riding past and he was there. Quen. Like, we gotta fuck him up. The problem is when you get to this stage in the fight, I feel like I'm more likely to make mistakes because I want to beat him. So I feel like now, I'm kind of more likely to just YOLO mode it. Are you dead yet? Be dead. Please be dead. Hey! And we got a bestiary entry. Good job, everyone. Good job. Holy shit. Right, that was tough. That was tough. Where's this hidden treasure? Is this it? I got a, a letter and a key. What does the letter say? Dear Papa, the wedding's over. It's done. I didn't go all exactly like I'd imagined as a little girl, but well, you always taught me to make the most of what I've got. We're traveling now, so I'll send a letter as soon as we arrive. I'll start with what I'm sure interests you most, financial matters. As I've sure you've noticed a few crowns have gone missing from your lockbox the cupboard a couple silver parts slighter and your jewelry box isn't near as full as it once was i took it as my dowry not much no doubt much l less than you have given but i found myself a worthy partner kurt or as you like to call him that good for nothing bear ass lazy bones is now my husband okay so she got married and then left basically what do i do with this key i got a quest find the treasure using your witcher senses is it probably it's probably in this in this case. What's in here? Nailed it. Good job everyone. Right. Now to actually go and investigate that area I was meant to be investigating. Okay, so I've made it here to now look around the area. It's a troll. Is is a troll alone? Redania kept army. No cross, no boat steel. Redanian army? Where are you hiding them? In, in here. Me. No seamans? Join me, King Rabodid army. Rabodid. <laughs> God, boats is. Oh, hmm. dear. Boats are in pretty bad shape. Me. God boats, they'd say, but no wood for to make a fence. They're boats, I, so me, fence, make a boat. Boats, God boats. He's made a fence out of boats, because his job is to guard the boats. Why'd you join the army? Someone recruit you? Good? No good. Come good soldier man. Say charge man, what's boats? Peasanters, they steals. Peasanters boats. What's the troll on them? Don't know. Think I do. Redanian seized some peasants' boats. Thought the peasants might try to take them back. What happened next? Charge man go. Soldier man's drink and sing. Not sing. Listen, troll. Both. Come, peasanters, swing sharpie sticks. I help one army. Runner to runner. 
Hello, peasanters. Hello, soldier man. Gentle. Move them apart. But all lie down. Soldier man's too. Oh. Oh, My no. My order had me watch boats. And watch I. Trollalolo soldier man now. Trollalolo just sing too. You for sing you? No thanks. You were earlier. But listen, where are the bodies? Don't see any. Hungry go. Should no waste. Peasant is good food. Soldier man friends. Not so good big stew. Always good. So his name is pronounced like Trollololol, not like Trollolol or whatever it is that every Gwent player calls him. Oh man, he's such a great character. So he accidentally killed the peasants and the hum and the, the soldiers. Uh, uh, trying to keep them apart while he was guarding the boats. And then, then he ate them. <laughs> Guess I understand. Wartime rules. I'm not going to kill him. Man, soldier man too? Uh, no. Trollololol. Makes man soldier man. Trollo, chargey man, say, bring paint, and man, breathe paint. Uh, paint? What are we talking about? Paint! Paint! Red colory? White colory? City gods? No city gold. Trollolo, what's boats? So he wants me to bring him some paint so that he can decorate Fine. I'll his try boats. I'll some paint for you. Good man! <laughs> Redaini army, no service forget. This is amazing. This is amazing. Right, let's go find him some paint. Right, here we are at a merchant. We're gonna buy troll all some paint. If I ain't got it today, say the word, I'll have it tomorrow. I need paint. Let me see. Might pick something. I'll play you at cards later. Hey, paint. Done. Paint get. Thanks. Right, let's go find so Trollolo. Die, die, die. Oh. Die, die, die. Oh, man. Everything about this is hilarious. Report on order. Hey, I got you some paint. Just so happens I have some paint on me. Oh! 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 Uh oh. What's the matter? Has paint, but how? Don't know. Oh, he doesn't know how mm, to paint. Might be a problem. Man's how no! I order! Man's nose! Wait, I have to paint? Yes, I do. Depends what. Birdo cutlery. Redania Birdo. Shields like. So he, he wants me to paint him a Redanian bird onto something. I feel like he should do it, but, you know, he, if he can't, I'll help him. I've got to help him. Give it a shot. Got a brush? Because I feel like it's going to be a much better quality bird if I do it. Think so? As long as you're happy with it. Man's good. No like other man's take juice. Oh Everything about this was so worthwhile. Like this is what I mean about side quests. You can end up with like something like this with Troll and Lol. Or you can end up with like those kind of boring side quests, like the one with the Wyvern slash Basilisk. I don't want to leave him. I just want to hang out with Troll for the rest of my days. Like, screw everything else. Look at all this delicious human stew he's got. Doesn't really look that good. Anyway, guys, I think that's it for me today. Uh, so I'll leave it there. I'm going to go kill these bandits that kept trying to attack me on my way here. 
Um, but if you've liked this episode, hit that thumbs up button. Let me know what you guys think so far. If Did you let Troll a little paint? Or did you paint for him? Uh, you know, let me know in the comments below. Beyond that, you can always subscribe to the channel. Uh, and keep an eye out for more Witcher episodes in the future. Wait, I need my steel sword. There we go. Um, yeah. Beyond that, have a fantastic day. Thanks for watching. And, uh, hopefully, hopefully... I will catch you guys in the next episode, which is invariably going to be worse because there's no troll -a lol So what is the point? What is the point? You just counter me? Fucking rude. Yeah, that's what you get. Don't counter me, you guys. It will not end well for you. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time. Bye.